Hello there, I'm Victor Kane, owner worker at a web factory. On demystifying dev today, we're going to go through the steps we need to take in order to get Strappy running on a local Docker Compose environment. Okay, um, so how should we get started? Well, let's go to the Strappy docs, and it turns out in installation. We have Docker instructions. It says one, two, three, create a Docker Compose file, pull the latest images and run the stack. That's it. All right. So um, it even has alternatives for SQLite, Postgres, Mongo. So here we have, uh, we're going to work with Mongo. Okay. And so this is the Docker Compose file make it the same uh, version 3 services strappy example instead of strappy the image is strappy strappy and i added uh, the container name and restart and let's stop and we're going to want to put this in an environment uh, file right so um, we just use the variables so i made those changes Okay, and then um, the other thing is that Lynx is a little legacy and they may take it away anytime. So instead of Lynx, we're going to use uh, networks. In terms of Mongo, as we're going to see in a minute, we basically need a named volume, which then goes into the, the top level volumes key, Strapi Data. So that this strappy data uh, is automatically going to be available to the strappy example container because um, they're both sharing the same network. Strappy app network, strappy app network, and then we have um, also the the networks uh, declared also as well as the volumes. Um, so. The change here is that the instead of just being a relationship between the host file system and the container file system, um, it's going to be um, a name, a name volume, and um, the same area on the container. Mongo example, Mongo example, um, and that's it. So where do these values come from is the only thing. So let's see. Uh, so these values are in this env file, .env file. Uh, it's not going to go into the repo because we have a git ignore, right, With, which excludes that. And what we are going to put into the uh, repo is an example so you guys can see which values have to be there what did they say we have to do create a docker compose check we've got a docker compose file great the next step we're going to pull the images because these are both based on images there's no local docker file it's really simple with the docker compose so uh, we're going to pull and what this is going to do is create these the two images strappy example and mongo example so we're going to do that docker compose pull okay so we do that the next step is to run the stack now docker compose up the is going to right away it's going to create the two containers and we'll be done we're going to do uh, docker compose up um, in daemon minus d daemon or detached mode and that's that's done we're happy so already the containers are running so we can say docker ps and we can see the containers are running we've got the uh, strappy example and the mongo example container running if we do docker compose um, ps right we can see that everything's up um, now, how can we see what's going on? Um, I'm using Docker Machine. 
So I better find out Docker machine on my Mac, uh, IP for my default um, VM, which is running like a pseudo Linux here on my machine. And so that's my, that's my IP. So this will be uh, the IP on 1337. So if everything's cool, oh, oh no, I'm not getting my, my admin user interface. Well, let's find out why. So we're going to see all the logs as they come out. It does take about five minutes for this to come up the first time. Um, so let's go ahead and docker compose logs, tail all, minus F. And we're just grepping out the strappy example log entries. And what we're going to find out is that um, strappy started up with the latest, latest uh, example, because thanks to the fact that the image is kept up to date, it's a new container. Uh, and uh, so they're creating a new Strapi project. Now, no project found, creating a new application, creating a project from the database clear arguments, and installing dependencies. So with this command, it's really cool because we get a really good look at what's going on. Uh, uh, thanks to the log, we'll be notified um, as things progress. Okay, so um, dependencies installed successfully. That's all the, the node stuff, node modules and other stuff. Uh, your application was created. Thank you very much. Available commands, yarn develop, yarn start. And here we go. Building your admin UI. Fantastic. We're compiling Webpack. Now, the good news is when we finish doing this and we're using it, since we have a named volume, uh, our data will not be lost. Webpack compiled successfully. Yeah, there we are. So it was, it was here before, right? Then it said, okay, we got it. We got it going for you. And uh, blah, blah, blah. It does say localhost here. Since I'm using Docker machine, I have to use the IP of the virtual host. And we should have it now. And yeah, yes. All right. Um, so we'll go into admin. And um, admin, admin. Okay, cool. Admin uh, at uh, webfactory.com. And we're ready to start. Okay, cool. Docker compose down. All right, and we're done. And it's coming out of it. So I reboot my laptop, go have dinner, whatever, come back. Um, so what is it's it's stopping the, the containers it's removing the containers and it's removing the network instead of links we created the, the name network right um, so now we'll say up again up minus D and uh, it, that's it we're all set so boom Again, just to look at this command here, docker compose logs, dash dash tail equals all, minus F, and then we grep the strappy example. So it's really cool. Um, all right, so just to be, just to show you, um, I can make a content type, create new collection type. We're gonna call this uh, article and the new UID. Okay, so let's put a, a, a text, let's put title. Okay. I now want a body. Okay, and we'll finish there and we'll save. It's waiting for restart. It's gonna have to wait a, a while, right? See the service restarting. I only have eight gig on this laptop. Um, all right, and it's got. So let's make let's make an article. So let's uh, come here and just say, okay, my first article is uh, "Hello World," of course. Uh, and here we'll just say "Lorem 
ipsum whatever save that okay and now docker compose stop okay what that does is it stops the containers and that's it it does not remove the containers so um, let's start it and you'll see how quick it is boom so we start the, uh, in record time we get our log back starting your app there we are okay all right and we haven't lost anything we've got everything cool